Hello again. There was a shouting match at the State House. Things getting loud today when members of the Bridge Investigation Committee got together. The Democratic co-chair John Wisniewski, he accused the Republican Amy Handlin of showboating during her opening remarks, prompting a response from another Republican, Kevin O'Toole, and leading to a whole big interchange. If you want to talk about process, you deliberately misrepresent it deliberately misrepresented what was happening in this meeting. No, so, I, I take yes. exception to that charge, Chair. I did not. I got that literally 30 seconds ago, the resolution, and all she simply asked is we consider bipartisan bills. And don't tell me that I'm deliberately misrepresenting. You are. You de deliberately you are. misrepresented. When you said you didn't, o OLS was being represented by Jenner and Block, they weren't. Uh, you signed the resolution. So uh, don't trade charges what, with me about deliberately uh, misrepresenting. I resent that. Point and you of order, order. Assemblyman Wisniewski. We have a motion on the floor to go into closed session. And there they went. Our David Cruz covering the committee meeting and beyond all day long. Joining us now live from the State House. David, bring us up to speed. Yeah, Mike, uh, you heard that exchange there between uh, Kevin O'Toole and John Wisniewski. This is about the Republicans wanting to push legislation out of this committee. They tried to bring it up for consideration today. And we talked to Amy Handlin a little bit about that before they went into executive session. Here's a little of what she had to say. This committee was not created to solely, uh, again, to, to, to supplant the work of the U.S. attorney. This committee was empowered to do two things, as the chairman himself has said repeatedly, to get to the bottom of Bridgegate and to enact reforms, to take legislative action. So the chairman says that that's something that they, they can wait to do after they hear from everybody. Mike? Uh, David, in the meantime, we had the report today, the Eagleton poll coming out, uh, people reflecting on the master report, the governor's own commission report from his lawyer. 31% said they, they believe the authenticity of the story about the governor's role or lack thereof. 63% said they don't agree at all with those findings. David, give me a sense. Are, are feelings like that impacting the work or the emotion of this legislative committee? They say no. They say that they're not looking at any of that stuff, that their consideration is what's before them and what may come before them over the next uh, couple of weeks. In fact, they're very specifically pointed out today that the governor's office, the governor's campaign, and David Sampson had still yet to complete this uh, period of rolling answers to their subpoena. So Wisniewski made it very clear today that what they want is to get all of the evidence in to deliberate and then to go forward. They're not they say, listening to any of the external forces, including Senate President Steve Sweeney yesterday, who seemed to ask existential questions about the committee itself. But the committee continues to exist. David Cruz for us live at the Statehouse. Thank you, David.